Um, hi. Do you want the best players on the game? Wait, do you want the best player on the game? Ben off Ronaldo, get D money, get all the D money. So you want the best players? Make sure to check out FIFACoin.com for cheap, reliable, 24-hour support. The safest place to get your coin. And make sure to use the code money at the checkout to get yourself a cheeky discount. So let's get into the video. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I'm not happy. Hey, what's guys it's here and welcome to another video on my channel and today let's get into the 10 things noobs do in FIFA 19. If you in fact got some more ideas for what you want me to do, then make sure to let me know down below in the comments and yeah lads, let's get into the 10 things noobs do in FIFA 19. This can be things that you do when you first start playing FIFA and you have no idea what you're doing. This can be things that is typically seen as a, a bad thing to do that you, just, that you just shouldn't really do due to coin reasons and so on and so forth. So if you guys do enjoy, then make sure to smash a like button and subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys for the support, we've hit 146,000 subscribers on the way to 150,000. So thank you guys so much for the support, and down below in the comments, let me know which one are you. If this, if anything in this countdown even says anything that you've potentially done in the past, then let me know. And if I missed out on anything, then also tell me down below as well. Because lads, let's be honest, we've all done one of these things in some stage in our FIFA life. I can guarantee you. If you said that you haven't, then my friend, you're just lying to yourself. Don't lie to yourself, be open, be free. I don't know why you want to be free, but yeah. I just got back from Man City beating Burnley 5-0, so I'm not in the best of moods right now. So with that said, let's get into the video. Number one, I'm starting off with a banger. I guarantee you that everyone's done this before in the past, and it's a newbie thing to do, and that is the Rage Seller. This guy can make a brand new team, a brand new BPL team, or even a hype beast team with icons and name odds and so on and so forth, and guess what? They play about 5-10 games and sell it all after they lose one game, or lose a few games in a row. The reason why this is a newbie thing to do is because of EA tax. The more you, the more times you do this, the more times you sell your team, especially the entire team, then guess what? The the more coins you lose. So you could do this once or twice a week and by the time it's a month afterwards, you've probably lost almost half your coins, at least a third of your coins is gone from EA tabs. Another reason why this is quite newbie is because you commonly find yourself using the same players throughout the year, like uh, Eric Bailly, like uh, Kondogbia. Kondogbia is a very useful player in, in the game. So you could probably sell your Eric Bailly and then in about a few days time, buy another one. We've all done this that we've lost a few games and we just sell our entire team and then you realize, wait, maybe it's just because I'm shit anyway. Number two and that is going to be the kids that uses icon goalkeepers. <sighs> If I see anyone using an icon goalkeeper, I don't care if it's got them Yashi94, Yashi94, Aetitich Michael, I don't care who you are, I'm automatically presuming that you know nothing about the game. Because if you if you guys aren't aware, it doesn't really matter what keeper you use. I mean, it does in you know, some cases, but if you get one of the main ones, like a De Gea, or Black, Couture, or even just like a, a bog standard one, like a Begovic or something like that, it will still do a similar job to what an Icon Schmeichel would do. The worst ones especially are the ones that have like a 10k, 15k BPO team, but as long as they have an Icon goalkeeper, they think they're good to go. It really confuses me on what goes through their minds when they look at a Schmeichel, an, 80, an 86 Schmeichel, and think that, wait, is this guy really worth about 400,000 coins? Look at his stats. You might as well use Begovic or Heaton. They will do probably a similar job. Number three, and this is a common one for most new players of the game, and that is the people that watch us every single replay when they get into a game or when they score a goal. It's either one or two things. Either they're a dickhead and they're trying to get you to watch every single replay because they're just that annoying. Or number two, they don't score that often, so you can almost guarantee you're going to be watching all the replays, even from when they score a goal. All the way through to when they walk back to the to, to the half, you just know they're gonna be watching the entire thing. I swear you might as well just be watching an actual game, an actual real life game of when they score a goal because it'll probably be the same length of time. Number four, and this is going to be the sprint warlord. The sprint warlord is a bit of a bitch. These kids just press RT on their Xbox controller or R2 on their PS4 controller, and that's it. And that's it. The finger is on that button. For the entire game. Sprint is the only thing they know. And sprint is the only thing they care about. The, the, even the thought. Even the thought of them not holding sprint. And actually keep keep in mind. Stanima is a massive thing. So their Stanima goes away almost instantly. You can typically find this guy being similar to the. You know the same kid that uses 500 back squads. 
just runs down the, the ring and just cross them all in. I bet they also think the duplication glitch is a thing. You you remember, right? The kids back in FIFA 12, FIFA 13 that sent you Xbox messages saying, Hey, I want to do the duplication glitch. I guarantee it's the same kid. Number five, and this is going to be people that still use a bar balls. <laughs> now, this is a rare one, but I have seen this before. That you play against people with not even like a bar balls, but like we're a bronze team or silver team. I mean, typically, it could be a team of like their main club, like a Blackpool or something. It's like a full silver bronze team, which this isn't a bad thing. You're not really a noob or a bad player or a new player. However, you are pretty much asking for you to smash your head against the wall as there's no actual fun and casual modes of playing. There's division rivals, foot champs, that's pretty much it. I guess play against your friends and that's the only time you can use them, which would make sense. So if you want to have a lot of fun in this game, then make sure to, to, just to not buy a bronze silver player. But on a real, can EA just bring back tournaments back? Like, can I just bring them back, please? Like, there's no point in having silver or bronze players. Like... Nothing. Can we just have some casual gameplay for God's sake, guys? Number six, and this will be the inform hype beast. This, the type of guy that, let's say, you have a full BPL squad and you see this guy using an inform jacker. Now, now, wh why? Why would you want an inform jacker? I'm, I'm checking right now. CDM BPL gold, and I will tell you five players that's cheaper than jacker that is. Better than him. Okay, let's go. Five and I saw uh, Ndidi, better than Xhaka. Idrissa Ghana better than Xhaka. Kuyate, probably better than Xhaka. Dukore, definitely better than Xhaka. And who else? One more, um, Lerma, better than Xhaka, or a lot cheaper. Xhaka goes for like 20k, and the only reason why you'll get him is because he's an informer, and that's literally it. You literally just want to flex on your mates and say that, oh, look at me, I have an inform, I'm cool now. No, you're not, because it's just not a good player. So you're literally just wasting your money and your and, and, and your time, in a say. So unless you are a Xhaka enthusiast, which I doubt, you're probably 10 years old if you use an inform Xhaka and not a Lerma. I have nothing against inform Xhaka, but it's just a good example. So yeah, um, just don't use informs because it's an inform. That's pretty much it. Number seven. You make your ultimate team. It's a wonderful day, and the birds are chirping, and everything is fantastic. You can make any team you want in the entire game. Any team, any team. What do you do? What do you do, guys? You make a full team as a fucking lawn players, of course. Lawn players is possibly the most frustrating thing in the game because you kind of can't get mad because it's in the game. You can't get mad at the player. However... I just don't see the point in it. Typically, for most good players, I find them using their long guys as a super sub. So for me, I use my Ronaldo and my uh, my like, my Dybala as like a, a super sub if I need one. Number eight, and this is quite a common one. However, it's still a newbie thing to do. Okay, so you're about to play a game of division rivals, right? You load up the menu, you are in a game, and then realize that your entire team is already dead. Because you forgot to put fitness cards on your players again. I remember back in FIFA 12 that I forgot to put my fitness cards on my players and I get into a game and they have like 50, 60 fitness. Like, I think all types of your players have done this every now and then. So don't take it personal. If you have done it, it's just a typical newbie thing to do in the game because, well, you're pretty much screwed from the other. Number is going to be the noob that thinks everyone is worth 1 million coins, okay? Oh god, okay, so basically, imagine you open a pack, a gold pack, a 7.5k pack. This guy will list up every single thing in that pack. It could be a normal player like a Begovic, to a contracts, to a position changes, to a manager items, and try and sell them for Matt's price, and hope someone ends up buying them. Like, these are just confusing people. Have you seen a normal player like a, just a random player in a BPO, and you see so many of them listed for 10k? Why would you list them up for 10k? Why would you? It's, I don't know where these people come from, or what goes through their heads, but either they're just incredibly just lazy? I'm not, I'm not too sure. And speaking of lazy, and this takes me to the 10th option now of this countdown, and it's going to be lazy buyers. The same type of people that doesn't really seem to have a, um, a clue about the value of coins in the game. Like, they can start an SPC, but can't be asked to go to the 59th minutes of the, the play that they need. So they just get any one that they see in the market instantly. I've been in some live streams and just people just seem to just don't care about money and just spend how much they want. Which every now and then you can say, oh, well, it's not making a massive difference, but all the time it does make a difference big time. It's just people just losing their money non-stop. It's like doing SPCs, like the Halloween one right now, that costs like 25k to do. But it gives you a 15k pack. 
things like that. It's there you have it, that is the 10 things noobs do in FIFA 19. If you guys did enjoy, then make sure to smash a like button, lads. And let me know, is there anything that I missed out? Anything that you do that's in the countdown? Thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate it massively. I'll see you guys another time for another video. See you guys. Thank you guys for watching. My name is, I'll see you next time. To the fire, but it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true, baby, let the light shine through If you believe